Hello you splinterheads, welcome back. This is Bronze Dragon coming at you with another chest opening. This time it is uh, my secondary account. If you remember back uh, a couple weeks ago, or no not a couple weeks, two seasons ago, which would be a month, uh, I started a secondary account due mostly to the fact that a lot of my cards just weren't written out, were not paying anything. So I'm like, I got to do something with them, right? So I start, I had a second token uh, for using the um, Archmage bot, Archmage service. They don't want to call the bot, but I had a second token that I had bought previously. And so I figured, wh why not put it to use, you know? So I set it um, through a bunch of just kind of random low-end silver level cards on it um, set it to play once once or twice an hour and just let it go um, and um, after we open the chest we can take a look at how it's doing uh, really quickly um, but it's it's doing pretty well so um, let's go ahead and open these chests I got 44 which is very similar to what uh, I just did a video of my main account and I had 45 diamond chest so let's cross our fingers uh, mainly what I'm looking for is cards to beef up this account because whatever cards I get I get here is just going to stay on this account for the time being um, so let's go ahead point one splinter shards four merits now uh, if you're new here or if you're new to the game uh, I present these chest openings just so like if you're thinking about buying cards or renting cards and thinking about getting into it you can kind of get an idea of where we're at in the game and what kind of you can get as you know as chests so or what you can get out of chests four merits uh, three possessed puppets three gops and bombers one alchemy potion three legendary potion charges 10 merits, 26 merits, 0 0.08 splinter shards, and a madcap magus, magus, however you want to say that. Now I'll stop here and I'll say that if you uh, just went and watched my main uh, pack op uh, chest opening on my main account, you will see uh, a strong difference between silver chests and diamond chests. So. Three legendary potions, three coastal sentries, two Pembroke nymphs, a war pegasus, 0.5 splinter shards, three legendary potion charges, two wily coyotes, love that wily coyote, three more coastal sentries, 0 0.09 splinter shards, two swamp spitters good card. Two, three legendary potion charges, two legendary potion charges, three possessed puppets, 0 0.08 splinter shards, three terracious grunts, 0 0.05 splinter shards, two alchemy potions, two alchemy potions, three legendary potions, three legendary potions, more potions, 0 0.09 splinter shards, three imperial knights, 0 0.12 splinter shards, 0 0.09 splinter shards. Come on, give me a pack. Fire collar, 0 0.09 splinter shards, 0 0.73, 0 0.1 splinter shards, Helios matriarch, times one. One legendary potion charges, two legendary, one alchemy, and a pack. There we go. That's a good way to end the end the uh, pack op or the chest opening. So, all in all, not bad. I mean, considering these cards are just going to improve my my deck here, um, not bad at all. Not a whole lot of splinter shards. The silver chests are very low on splinter shards, but there's also a big difference um, cost-wise in fielding a silver deck and fielding a diamond deck. So, and I don't even consider my deck diamond really. I consider it like higher, uh, like high-end gold deck, but it's playing in. Diamond. 
diamond. So let's go ahead and see about doing some combined. See what I've got. Let's look at the soul bound. And I'm just combining all these until they hit max level. And then I'll keep singles. I am not combining uh, golds, however. I'm keeping those single. Down the road, they've been talking about um, at some point, um, obviously up front here for the first year or two, um, these are going to stay soul bound. But down the road, they are considering making them um, in some form or fashion, being able to basically pay to make them sellable. Got to pay to do everything. But I like this set of cards. I haven't talked on them uh, at length yet because I still want to get in and um, I don't think I have enough of the cards to fully get them, you know, use them to be able to make a good opinion. I, I've been making some off opinions on a few of them that I really like. And have put to use. So far, I'm just doing combines. I haven't seen any that have leveled up yet. After we do a combines, we'll step back and we'll take a look at where we stand after two seasons. Oh, I'll get a level two on this one. Almost. Still got a few more for level three on the Gobson Bomber. I think this one promises to be a really good common that possibly should have been rare. I don't know. Okay, so let's go up to the pack openings. I did get one pack. I've got enough potions, so let's open it. On my previous pack opening, it failed. Okay. Ah, uh, regular pack, just one rare. Eh, not exciting, but I really like the Deep Lurker. Chaos Agent's really nice. Certain situations, the Soul Strangler is okay. Okay, let's just take a, a look at this. Now this is how it stands, what this account has earned after basically a month. Uh, two seasons. Let's filter by commons. You can see the commons. Basically level two mostly, some level one. The rares are sitting at basically level one with a few summoners. Only one epic and one legendary. So that's where I stand at that. Thanks for dropping by on my secondary account video. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, please leave me a like and think about subscribing. 
With that said, I hope you and your family are happy and healthy, and I will see you on the flip side. Thank you.